here comes Abel Karui. Good morning, how are you Abel? Mm -mm. Come on, my brother. Thank goodness these are not Canada geese. Somebody would be making jackets out of these beautiful guys. Which part of state are you from? Uh, we're from uh, Olympia, Washington. Yeah. And uh, we're here to uh, run in the park to uh, run with some of the Kenyan runners before the London Marathon. So you're not actually taking part in the marathon? We're not running in the marathon. We're actually going hiking on the coast. Now that's some love that for our nice. sport, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you came yeah. all the way from states yes. just to run with these guys. Yes. So will you ever make a trip to uh, I-10 or... Um, that's our goal one day. Yeah. To go to I-10 and, uh, and see the runners run. But yesterday we ran with uh, Baden Kuroki and uh, Edna Kiplagat. Yeah. So we were able to run with them a little bit. Ran and, behind uh, them. Ran behind them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really exciting and enjoyed it very much. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a pretty sleek looking runner yeah. yourself. Well, at uh, least I have the uh, clothing down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's your marathon time or uh, running uh, my time? My best is 237. 237? Yeah. yeah. A few years ago. <laughs> when I was younger. But, uh, and yeah. how much mileage do you do a week? Uh, between 80 and 90. Okay. And just run for fitness. All right. And uh, I'm a real fan of the sport. And so uh, I like watching all the world class running. And I certainly like watching the Africans run because we think they're the best in the world. And oh, yeah. Lots to learn from. Yeah, we should be doing exactly what they're doing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Throw away all the science books. Yeah. So, do you watch any of my other videos? Uh, of yours? Or? Yeah, on oh, my yeah. channel. The, the first video I saw of yours was maybe three years ago. Yeah. And then last year I saw the one with Ulu Kipchoge warming up. Yeah. And then, so then we came out this year. All right. All right. Now, uh, you know, I got a vegan channel. So I you, know you do. Yes. Yeah, it is a vegan channel. Yes. So, you're more than welcome to watch the other videos as well. I will well, do that. As yeah, much yeah. as you disagree. So, they've just come in just behind you. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm not sure who it is. Uh, I think we'll go, yeah, what we'll do is we'll jump in behind and run slow and just stay out of the way. All right, that's what I do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, <laughs> well, enjoy, you enjoy your running. Nice you. Twenty seven in the morning. Lovely couple from the United States. Well, that's love for the sport. That is love for the sport. Who we got running here? I'm hoping to see Germay. Gabriel Selassie. Oh, that's Steven Chivet from last night. Let's tag in, people. Good morning, YouTube. No gourmet.
And that's why I make these videos. Show the world. Show the world. My point is, how many videos do we have of Pave Nami? Black and white, eh? We've got a handful. After I'm long and gone, hopefully YouTube will keep these videos up for others to see. Yeah, we know they train in Kenya, and we know they train at altitude. How do they train when they're amongst us? And how do they train just before a marathon? It would be nice if I could speak to them and go back to their hotel. <laughs> See what type of socks they wear. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I just made these videos. I make worth it. That. So Stephen Kibet in the yellow. I filmed him last night for about 10 minutes and then left him to it. He took it really easy. Same pace he's doing now. And uh, he's come out this morning. And it's Saturday morning, day before the race. So, what do the science books say? Some say rest, some say do speed work. Let's see what they do. Oh, my first time to see Kenyan athletes listening to music or Maybe an audio tape, who knows? He's got his phone with him. Young guy.
said I was stalking the Kenyans? Who said they'll never let you run with them? Peaceful, humble people. Not to mention beautiful. Here comes Abel Karui. Good morning, how are you Abel? Wow. <laughs> I think he's trying to catch up with that group. He just came straight into the park and... <laughs> Breakneck speed. Yeah. How was it? Good. Yeah? Very good. You done good as well? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Kibet has picked the pace up after 10 to 11 minute warm up. I'm not sure how long it takes them to run from their hotel. Let's say 10 minutes. So 20 minute warm up. And the day before the race, pace has gone up a notch. Abel is just behind. Obviously, he just came in and he's not warmed up as well. So he's, he's lagging a bit behind. Abel's got a very, very bouncy technique. Very bouncy. It's beautiful. First lady I've seen training this morning. Who's gonna win tomorrow? Bikili is going for the world oh, record, okay. I think. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm beating the you. Oh yeah. No, I was very tempted to follow Abel as he picks up the speed, but just as well I held back a bit and running towards me is, let me see if I get it right this time, Feisa Lelisa and Turinesh Dibaba. Uh, just behind the building. Just behind it. Can I get you on? 
Pardon? Can I get you on here? Yeah, yeah, so yeah? Cool. yeah. All right. Yeah, foxes are just behind the building. I've seen a litter of them yesterday, three foxes. Three babies? Tiny little babies, gorgeous little things. Ah. Yeah, and uh, you've seen two pups? Three pups uh, this morning, yeah. Ah, maybe it's the season, you know? They uh, breed in the, mate in the winter and then... Oh, that's the season, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, you say they're doing better than the ones in the countryside, isn't it? February and March is there. Yeah. I think the ones in the city eat a lot of McDonald's and the one in the countryside. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Amazing. Amazing. Were they out of breath? <laughs> well, were they out of breath? Can you hear my breathing? Yeah? This is a... Or is it Lelisa? Baba. Beautiful. Slightly out of breath still. I thought I would have to train hard one day and eventually get to run with these guys, but <laughs> all I had to do was jump on my bike and Beautiful. I'm sorry for my uh, Eritrean fans. I haven't seen Gurme. I'm not sure where he's training. Um, beautiful. Kenya, beautiful. Ethiopia, beautiful. Eritrea. Beautiful. Wow, I want to see some Sudan. Sudan. Hopefully that's going to be you, Saeed. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you, beautiful. Good luck on Sunday. Good luck. Tesisa and Dibaba have taken it very, very easy this morning. Very easy. Carlo, you asked me for a long video. I hope I uh, quenched your thirst. So Mary Keitani running with her husband over there? Yeah. He was also a former runner. He was one of our first runners in my team. Oh yeah? But Mary is not in my team. But I know her very well because her husband was one of our first guys. So ah. I have quite a close relationship with them. Okay. Uh, even if she's not in a group, but uh, if I'm in Kenya, I always go for dinner with them, and you know, I'm, I'm quite close. Even the children. One of the children is named after my colleague. Oh, fantastic! Jared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're great people. But uh, I think she will. She's in really good shape. So that that's Daniel Wanjiri in front, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. The Amsterdam winner. Is Tejis Tufa? This one, yeah, 2015 I winner? I think so, yeah. I'm not really into the Ethiopian course, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. So that's Daniel. Nice flowing runner, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. really light weight. Very good. Go for two laps. 
One more lap. Ferrari Sports. It's been one year since I seen you last year. Yes. How have things been? Things have been good. We had a great performance with Wilson Kipsang in Tokyo. So we are happy with that. And uh, this is the second uh, major for us because we didn't have somebody in Boston. So looking forward to, to, to London with uh, Daniel Wanjiru, the winner of Amsterdam Marathon. Uh -huh. he's, I think he's an outsider and really has a chance to make the podium if he has, if he has a good day. And also with Hella Kiprop, the winner of Tokyo Marathon last year, silver medalist on the world champs. And uh, paced here two times before. So this is a London debut as a finisher, but she's experienced in London as a pacer. And uh, it's also ready to make a good result and uh, at least run a professional best. So that's uh, that's the group we have. And then we also have a also have a girl from Holland, Andrea Dilstra. She ran 226 in Berlin, one of the best Europeans. And uh, she's also looking forward to uh, to run a good time here below, let's say, 228. Uh, so she will not be in the mix for the for the, the big prizes, but. Uh, yeah, for European standards, it's really okay. And she wants to qualify, make a qualifying time for the European champs in Berlin uh, next year. So uh, yeah, we have some good things going, and uh, we hope for a for a good day like 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 this morning. Quite chilly. And uh, a little bit chilly, and hope the wind will go a little bit down, and uh, then for sure it will be uh, will be some good racing on Sunday. We got the Diamond League coming up in July. Any of your athletes there? No, not in Diamond League. Not in Diamond League. That's track, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we don't do track. So uh, maybe we have some uh, after London. I think they will make the, the team for the World Champs. Uh -huh. So uh, we hope we have some some somebody in for London uh, marathon team. But uh, I think they decide after London. So uh, let's see what what will happen on Sunday and what uh, the people in uh, in Kenya will say and who, right. will, who they will select. It's nice to see uh, management out with the athletes as well. Normally, you know, management is in the office calling the shots, but you're very interactive with your athletes. I like that. Yeah, no, I also like it because I want to stay a little bit healthy. So I like to do a run in the morning with the guys. And uh, also it's always good when you when you run, you can talk. Yeah. And uh, also see how they are doing mentally and try to keep them calm and focus on the race. So, so uh, yeah, that's what we mainly do. That means you're traveling around the world with them, away yep. from your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of traveling. This weekend we have 10 races, so uh, everybody from the office is somewhere. Wow. And I'm a lucky one to be in London with the group. So. Well, thanks for very much for having a chat with me and hello to your family back home. Thank you, yeah. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Greetings from London. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Tifa still out this morning, running at the same pace she's been running since Wednesday. Be interesting to see how she does in the race. If she still has uh, legs left. Has she left enough recovery in her? Ethiopia. Beautiful, Eritrea, beautiful, Kenya, beautiful, Sudan, beautiful, Zimbabwe, beautiful, <laughs> oh, planet Earth, amazing, morning. <laughs> 